Liverpool, Muted, P-Bass, Picked Bass. Don't you wish there was more variety in bass guitars here in GarageBand iOS? Well, there is a way that we can send our bass guitar sounds here from our touch instrument over to our guitar amplifiers so we can use all of our amp settings and all of our pedals on our touch bass. And in this GarageBand for iOS quick tip, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and if, like me, you are frustrated with the limited options for your bass guitars here in GarageBand iOS, then this is the video for you. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how that we can use a very cool merge feature to send our bass guitar over to a guitar amplifier track so that we can dial in whatever settings we want and get some real variety in our bass sounds without the need for a real bass guitar. So let's jump in and show you how to do this now. Here we are in my new song called Summer here in GarageBand on the iPhone. The same principles on the iPad if you're using iPad. Here is my bass guitar. It's the Liverpool bass. It's a very simple bass and it sounds a bit like this. So a very simple bass. When we put it into the mix, it sounds a bit like this. Falling from high in the sky, gray skies above and so it's okay, but I'm just so bored of this Liverpool bass. I want a slightly different bass sound for this track, but I don't really want to go and get my bass guitar out and hook it up and do all of that for this demo version. Or maybe you don't have a bass guitar. No problem. We can get a good bass sound here. The way we do that is using our very cool merge function here in GarageBand. So to merge this track, we're going to tap on the track and we're going to tap on merge. And you can see here we can select multiple tracks, but we just want to merge this one track. We're going to tap on the merge button in the top right. What it will do, it will duplicate the song, so it creates a backup copy, because what happens when you merge is you lose all your MIDI data. You lose the note information, and you can see here what's happened is it's changed it from this green MIDI file over to a blue audio recorder file. So make sure that you are very happy with your complete performance, because you can't go back and change it once you've merged the track over to an audio file. It's like this. The other thing you'll notice did is it normalizes the volume. So the volume now is much louder. So we need to dial that back. If we solo it now, our bass is going to sound pretty much the same because all it's done is converted it from MIDI to an audio track. Let's play it and listen now. So it sounds exactly the same, but what we now have is the flexibility to put this track onto any of our amp simulators. So to do that, we add a new track and we've got our amp simulator here. Let's tap on bass and here you go. We've got our classic amp bass simulator. We'll leave it on that default for now and let's go back to our track view by tapping on the tracks in the top left there. And now you're probably ahead of me on this one. All we need to do is tap and drag this track from the first track that we had there, our audio recorder, down to this bass classic stack track. And now when we play back our bass track, we can hear that it's got that amp processing. So if we go to here, we can tap on the amp. So if we go to the top left here, the third, third button along, we tap on our amp, and now we can dial in whatever setting we want. So if we scroll, we slide to the left, we tap and slide to the left or the right, we can actually change the amp so we can go through any of these different amps that we want, or even cooler, we can tap in the top left here or in the middle if you're on an iPad, and we can select here and go for any of these clean or distorted sounds. So let's just play around a bit. We can go a tasty crunch sound on this bass if we wanted to. Let's listen to that. So not the sort of sound we'd want for this track, but if you were doing a rock track or a punk track, you'd be able to throw that bass sound in there. It would sound very cool. If we go back to here, we've got all of our clean sounds as well. Now, what I want with this one is I want sort of a, a low round bass sound. So let's go with our how low, which will give us our classic amp and it dials in. You can see it dials in some nice bass and some uh, mids in here to give us a nice sort of bassy sound. Let's listen to that one. So you can hear this, it's still that nice bass sound, but it's got a bit of an edge to it because we're going through the amp. The other cool thing we can do, we can add our stomp boxes in the top right here. You can put on, you can click on that, tap on that, and here we've got, we've got the phase trooper on here. Let's put that on. That's a bit of an interesting one, but there's all sorts of pedals in here that you can use. Let's just throw on like a vintage drive. And if we wanted some real sort of distorted, crunchy bass, we could do something like this. So 
So again, not really going to fit for this track because uh, it's not the vibe we're going for here. So we'll turn all of those off. But if we put this back in our mix now, we will hear that the bass sound now has a little bit more power to it. It's a little bit uh, different than that original Liverpool bass that we had. Walking the streets of my city Stumbling down every very cool, and we can obviously go back in here and we can go back to our amplifier by tapping in the top right there, and we can play with these. So if we want some a little bit less bass, let's dial the bass down, let's add in some mids and a bit more treble if we don't want to be quite so bassy, and then you can hear the result. So there you go, a very cool way to change up your bass sound. I've got other videos where I show this with the guitar, but the bass guitar is, in my view, one of the more boring instruments in the touch instruments. It's very cool to be able to play your touch bass here when you don't have a bass guitar yourself, but you want some better sounds. And this is a way that we can take our touch bass instrument and throw it over to an amp track, and the possibilities are endless. You can use this with any other virtual instrument. Throw a piano on there and put some ridiculous fuzz pedals on there, <laughs> whatever you want to do there's options here to do this so i hope you find this useful i hope you can use this in your next track and if you've got any comments questions suggestions or other tips for garageband ios leave those in the comments below and i'll see you on the next video there you go a very cool way to spice up your bass tracks if you'd like to find out more about some cool hacks using the merge function we've got two more videos linked down below you can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the studio live today icon in the top right or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness